Hey friends, in this video I'll show you how to create a ChatGPT social media manager for Facebook and Instagram. It will be able to generate and publish content on your behalf, both text and images, as well as respond to your users' comments or direct messages. I'm not going to just use ChatGPT for content creation. Instead, I'll present a fully automated workflow designed to operate independently. So once it is set up, there is no need for your involvement at all. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use make.com, chatbot builder and OpenAI developer platform just to generate API keys. In the first part of the video, I will use make.com to build an automation that allows ChatGPT to generate social media posts that will be automatically published to Facebook and Instagram. In the second part of this video, I will use Chatbot Builder to create and connect an AI assistant that will reply to DMs and comments on my Facebook page and Instagram account. As always, all of the links and materials used in this guide will be provided in the video description, so let's get started. Before you build this automation, you need to create a Facebook business page and link it to your Instagram business account. I will use this Facebook page for my dummy business, this time as a home decor store called Community Store. Then I will link it to my Instagram account. I'm not going to waste your time by showing the step-by-step -step process of creating a Facebook page and linking it to your Instagram profile. If you need guidance on that, just Google it. It's really easy to do. Let's jump to make.com and create the simplest possible scenario for content generation and publishing by ChatGPT. Click create a new scenario. Let's add a new module here, search for OpenAI. Then I'm going to select create a completion action. And for this module, I need to add a connection with OpenAI. So just click add and paste your API key. I'll go to OpenAI developer platform, then API keys and create new secret key. Give it a name, for example, SMM by AI and create. Okay, make sure there are sufficient credits in your OpenAI developer account, otherwise it won't work. This can be checked and managed in the settings and billing section. I'll copy and paste this API key to make.com, click save and select the GPT model that I want to use. Under messages, click add item and this is a place where you can input your prompt. Select the role, assistant and for the prompt I have it prepared already, so I'll just paste it here. My prompt is you are an assistant for a home decor store. You create Facebook and Instagram posts. Your posts should be written in a way that helps users by giving tips, tricks, and a lot of value. The posts should be engaging, valuable, factual, and a bit funny. Do not include any introduction at the start, such as Facebook posts, and it should be maximum of 300 words. Okay, the post should be in a form of an advice, and insights on home decor topic. It is a very basic prompt, right? You can certainly make it more specific and tailored to your needs. You can also set it up to generate content based on the information from your website, for example. And I'll show you how to do it later in this video. Once you've input your prompt, click OK and add another module. Search for OpenAI again, but this time you need to select the create an image action. So the first module generates text and the second one is going to use DALI 3 to generate images based on that text from the previous module. For the prompt, I'll just say generate a picture supporting the following social media post caption and it should be photo realistic. I need to select a variable which would equal the output from the first module. So I go to choices, then messages, then content and click on content. Hit OK and add another module. Search for router and I need to add Facebook and Instagram modules. Search for Facebook, select Facebook pages and then create a post with photos. Connect your Facebook page here, mine is already connected. Then select the relevant business page and under photos, click add item. By default, you'll see I want to upload the photo and then the file option selected. It doesn't work for me, so I'll change it to download photo from URL. And for the URL, I need to choose a variable that would correspond to the output from the previous OpenAI module, meaning the URL to the generated image. So I go to the generate an image module, then data, then URL, and click on URL. Okay, for the message field, I'm going to input the variable that would correspond to the output from the first OpenAI module. So this time I go to the create a completion module and again, choices, message, and content. Okay, now let's set up a module for Instagram. Search for Instagram for business 
and select create a photo post action. Double check your connection and business page and then for the photo URL select the same variable as for the previous Facebook module. Go to data, then URL. Okay, and the same variable for the caption. Choices, messages and content. Click OK. And that's it, the setup is now complete, let's test it out. This is my Facebook page, that's the last published post here, and this is my linked Instagram account. The last published post here is with my dog, let me know in the comments if you like it by the way, make sure to do that please. So I am switching back to mac.com, save this scenario and click run once. It takes a few moments to run the whole flow, and once it is done, let's go back to Facebook page and here, you can see just now, so I've got a new post completely generated and published by ChatGPT. It seems to be insightful, engaging and also relevant to my home decor topic. The generated image seems really nice and photorealistic to me, so overall I'd be happy with this kind of content. If I go to Instagram and refresh the page, there is also a new post here. It illustrates the same image and has the same caption, so everything works as intended. In Mac.com you can check out the operation and see the input and output of every module in your scenario. Like which prompt was used, what was generated and then with Facebook module where we input a variable it shows which value was used instead of that variable. Now you can turn on the scheduling and make the scenario run every 15 minutes for example. Or more realistically for social media I'd run it every day, every day at a particular hour. So this way it will be completely automated and there is no need for you to manually post anything. If you want to make the posts more curated and based on your website content, just go to templates and search for social media. There is a great template titled post directly on social media from a blog using ChatGPT. If you go to the template, you can start guided setup. It is going to use ChatGPT to parse the content from your website and then based on that data, it will create social media posts across various platforms and the setup is very easy, so feel free to use it as well. Okay, now I'm going to create a ChatGPT assistant for both Facebook and Instagram. It will be able to like and reply to comments as well as provide assistance to users privately via DMs using my custom instructions and knowledge base files. Navigate to Chatbot Builder and let's create a new account together. Select Messenger and connect your Facebook business page. Once it is connected, you need to add another channel for Instagram. Select Instagram and connect your Instagram business account. Once that is done, on the left hand side go to Flows and add a new one. Give it a name, public reply for example and click Continue. To set it up, click on this module and add content. Under Actions, select OpenAI. Here I am going to select Generate Text, Advanced, and then there is a business information field or prompt and this is going to be a simple prompt just to give it some context on what public reply means. So I'll type you are an assistant for a home decor store that lives in the Facebook page and Instagram profile. A user just replied to your comment, now you will reply to their comment with another comment by acknowledging them. For user message search for the last Facebook comment and then save response to a custom field. I'm going to add a new one and I'll name it AI response. Click continue. What we just did here is feed the comment to ChatGPT and now we need to make it answer to it. So I am going to add content again and this time it will be text and I will input the, that variable that I just created, in my case AI response. All good, I can publish it now. That was the flow for public comments. For the private reply, like for direct messages, we just need to slightly modify the prompt. So I am going to duplicate the flow and rename it to private reply and all I need to change here is just tell it to reply to users in private via DMs. The rest should remain the same, click continue and publish. To implement these automations, go to Tools and click on Facebook Comment Automations. Add a new one, give it a name, Facebook Reply for example, and when you get to these settings, you need to select your flow as a private reply to comment and select the other one for public reply to comment. You can go to more options and add some additional settings here, such as exclude comments with particular comments, make it like user comments, do not reply to replies to comments and so on. Once you are done, click save 
and make sure you change the status to make it live here. Okay, now I'm going to do exactly the same for Instagram. Go to tools, select Instagram comment automations, add a new one, give it a name, Instagram reply, select the private reply flow and the public reply flow, double check the selection options and if all good, click save. Change status to live again and okay, and we are done here. At this stage, our assistant is activated and it is going to reply to users. But the replies are going to be very generic. It has no context, no information on your business, so it is not workable at all. That's why the last step is to prepare a comprehensive prompt, other words, custom instructions, and upload some knowledge base files containing some information on your business so that the assistant would be capable of engaging in conversation with users and provide real value. Go to settings, integrations, prompt engineering, I'll disconnect my current assistant and let's connect a new one from scratch, okay? I am going to open AI developer platform and create a new API key. I'll give it a name, SMM by AI replies and click create secret key. Copy and paste that secret key to chatbot builder and now it is going to use your OpenAI credits. So make sure to add some credit balance, otherwise it won't work. After pasting my API key, I'll create an assistant. Since I want it to respond based on my custom data, here I'll be able to add my main instructions prompt and knowledge base files. Click manage, add a new assistant, give it a name, SMM by AI, uh, with knowledge base, continue. And here you can add your custom instructions and knowledge base files. Make sure the custom instructions are comprehensive and clear. As you remember, the quality of the replies would really, really depend on your custom instructions here. So I may choose the GPT model and upload the knowledge base files. Once done, just click save. Now, to make this assistant actually use your instructions and knowledge base, Go back to Prompt Engineering, click Edit, and at the top, switch to Assistance tab. Select your assistant and click Continue. That's it, the automation is complete. Now if I go to Instagram and ask about the products, it will provide me with the product categories outlined in the knowledge base file. What I appreciate most about this AI application is its autonomy. You don't need to manually interact with ChatGPT to produce text and images or to post them on social media. It handles everything on its own, without any effort from you. However, while it is great for generating content automatically, it might not fully align with your vision for your business's presence in social media. So there is a balance to consider. I am curious to hear your thoughts. If you run a business, please share in the comments. If you're ready to delegate this part, like social media management to AI, or if you prefer using content crafted by real people to make it more authentic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It is a quick and free way to support me and it really means a lot. Also, check out my other guides on using AI to enhance your business and life. Make sure you don't miss anything. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon in the next one.